Okay, welcome back. I think this is gonna be the conclusion of the game, really. Um, so we're at the spot here where um, I still have a healing potion I can use. Uh, I don't have the ability to explore. So I'm gonna do a rest action here. It says I may exhaust a minion engaged with me. So I'm gonna exhaust this rat swarm, the big threat that it was. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna do this where I get to roll one white die. I don't have to roll a black die. So the white die is going to be a shield, which does nothing for me. And uh, uh, I can choose one enemy in the shadow and it's gonna suffer one damage. So I'm gonna damage the big boss leader. Uh, Nope, I'm gonna do the changeling because he's one away from dying. And then ready all my cards. So it was a pretty boring round for for uh, the thief. Um, I would use the healing potion maybe on the thief itself, but I'm gonna hold on to it for now. And then uh, we're gonna do Ashrian up there. And Ashrian is going to end this. We're going to do the explore action. And... Um, there's a lot of other things Ashrian probably should do, but uh, all we have to do is get to 10 and we win. And uh, we're going to uh, add one success with this here. So we're gonna guarantee that we at least get to 10. And Ashrian has no success tokens or anything. And so this happens for the first time this game. And we have two shields and this. So we actually got two successes. So I'm gonna grab two success tokens. And as you can see, we are at 11 out of 10. So it's enough to win the game. But we still have to survive everything that's going to happen. Um, so the first thing is, is we have this to resolve. So the only one I can see is on Rita. The scenario doesn't seem to have it. Rita does, and the party leader either exhausts an activation card or suffers a damage. Okay, so that's Krutz Beck, and he will take the damage. No problem. He's up to five. All right, so now we get to the monster phase. So uh, starting with Krutz Beck, he has a hybrid sentinel on him, and it's going to pray and inflict. The enemy becomes engaged with the hero who has the most uh, damage, which is Kretzbeck. So, um, no problem there. And then it's going to inflict two more damage to cut to, to Kretzbeck. So we're going to just take that, flip it over. He's up to seven. So then we get to the Crow Hag, uh, engage with the hero with the most exhausted activation cards, which is right where he's at. I mean, he's tied, but, um, He's going to go with the active leader if there's that's the tiebreakers. So the active leader is um, this person. So it's just going to stay right where he's at. Um, and then if the hero is engaged with this enemy is weakened, they become poisoned. If the hero is poisoned, they become weakened. So nothing actually happens. The crow hag actually doesn't do much at this stage. The red swarm is in, exhausted. So um, the thief is going to deal with the. This is where it's brutal. The Changeling. This enemy activates using the effect bar of the highest difficulty face-up enemy in play that is not a Changeling. Um, and that is actually Rita. Because uh, Rita's the highest level. Well, no. Rita is a challenging. The highest level is the Crypt Dragon. So the Crypt Dragon has no damage on it. And so it's going to do four damage. Ooh, that hurts. To the thief and that might be a cause for using the health potion okay so uh, now we get to the crypt dragon and the crypt dragon is going to ah, hold on a second the crypt dragon just advances that's all it does um, so I'm taking the four health back and so the changeling is going to do whatever because he does this mimic ability so all it's going to do is advance. So that means the changeling is, a, is engaging the, um, the scout. That's what happens there. 
Um, okay, so Ashrian uh, deals with the Crypt Dragon, who's just going to advance. So now it's back to Crutzbeck. And I highly apologize. I'm supposed to be exhausting everything. I just, there's not that many monsters. So the only one left is this one. And it's going to inflict the two damage and then do a behead. And so that means uh, Kretzbeck is taking four damage. And three, six, nine, ten. It's up to 11 damage right now. So we are going to move up in the peril phase. And Kretzbeck will pay two tokens to put a third one there. And we move up. And we are hitting a blue again. So that means uh, we are only short one token. Okay, so uh, that means party leader chooses a hero and spawns one enemy engaged with that hero for each, and then, and then uh, we get to do three upgrades. I'm not gonna bother spawning an enemy or doing the upgrades because we're gonna get to the travel phase and we won the game. Right? Uh, so, uh, not going to bother doing that, but that's what technically is supposed to happen right now. Uh, we have our 10. We survived the enemy phase. Uh, the peril phase didn't hurt us. It just caused more enemies to spawn. And no enemy does damage at the moment it spawns. So let's just make sure. It would have been the ogre, for example. And all we would have done was engaged whoever we said, which would probably have been Grutzbeck. And so we, we travel from here and we win the game. So, victory. You drive away the last of the cultists, leaving their broken order, fleeing into the wilderness. Whatever they'd been attempting has failed, and their would-be sacrifices are already safely on the way back to Haverford. Though Osric seems to have all but forgotten he hired you, Elena makes good on her husband's promise of payment. So, the only thing that's missing from this game is a campaign mode. You know, so-and-so had a good payment so it would be nice if I can pick a party and do a campaign through these scenarios and I'm actually getting I'm mean, almost exactly like the way Descent plays so because I have a victory I get stuff and if I have a defeat I may get stuff but it's just not as good um, this would be an awesome game if it had that I know that this is based off the Warhammer game and I'm sure back then they made it all about individual scenarios but um a linked campaign, I think, is the missing thing here. And I hope FFG, through their million expansions that they probably have planned for this, is going to do one. So um, I don't know if anybody from FFG even watches my stuff, but there's my there's my pitch. Uh, you need a linked campaign. Um, this is just, you know, the fact that Alina makes good on her husband's promise of payment, it's so deflating when I'm not actually being paid anything. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it be cool if our party got something right now? So anyways, that's what I would like. And we just finished uh, scenario two, a foul ritual. And before you go, I'm just gonna pull one of these super difficult ones. There's no level ups here. There's no level ups there. Here we go. After the party travels, each hero upgrades an activation card. Much better. <laughs> so after we travel, so how many travels are we gonna get to do? There's one location, two, three locations, four, five locations. So we could theoretically upgrade our entire deck as long as we travel. I am very pleased. Uh, this is one of the more difficult ones. I'm very pleased. We're gonna actually be able to, to fully advance our heroes in a game like this one. So um, uh, anyways, there's hope left for this game. I, uh, I don't like it when I only get to upgrade one card, or I guess I technically was gonna get to upgrade three, um, but uh, I had already beaten the game by then. So um, anyways, that is scenario two. I'm still enjoying it. Um, I uh, I love Corey and his family. They're awesome. And Battlestar Galactica is probably my favorite game of all time. Well, for what it does. I mean, I have lots of favorite games of all times, and maybe I'll do a video series on that at some point. But um, I did not like Discover Lands Unknown. And uh, so 
this is redeeming FFG for me. And so anyways, I will, I will definitely be doing another one. I have people visiting from out of town, so I'm going to be tied up all weekend. So it's going to be a while uh, before my next video. But um, I hope many of you are getting your pre-orders if you pre-ordered like me. And those of you that are running to the store in time for this weekend, I hope you have a merry weekend of gaming. Uh, this is a good game, and I think you're going to enjoy it. And other than maybe forgetting to do things, I think I got the rules right this time. So thank you. <laughs> um, and so uh, I know I like forgot who the party leader was, stuff like that. But that's minor stuff I never worry about or sweat over those things. So uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Stay awesome. And we'll see you soon.